Hello, I'm Edward Tart, once a Catholic priest for five years in the 1960s, now an atheist, which means I find no credible evidence for the existence of any God. Some Christians, when confronted with the problem of suffering, say something like this, God never gives us more suffering than we can handle. Yes, God gives us suffering, but as a follow-up, he always gives or offers us enough grace to deal with it. When I was in my early twenties, I was in a state of religious fervor. My parents were secular, and my religious fervor greatly concerned and saddened them. One day I said to my mother, God never gives us more suffering than we can handle. I was mouthing mindlessly and uncritically something that I had recently heard or read. My mother responded in a secular way, saying to me quietly and politely, We just have to do the best we can. And my mother lived by that, at that very moment, as for about the last fifty years of her life. She suffered severe, continuous back pain, inflicted on her not by any god or gods, but by natural causes. and she coped. She prepared meals for my father, my brother, and me day in and day out. I helped. I often washed dishes, hung out clothes to dry, and helped her keep the house clean. I have no evidence whatsoever that any god or gods had anything to do with her condition or with her coping. Late in my mother's life, Alzheimer's disease gradually took over her keen mind and destroyed her humanity. She coped for a while, but Alzheimer's was victorious. My best friend in high school, Rogers Reed, who introduced me to classical music and thereby immeasurably enriched my life, developed terminal cancer in late middle age. He foresaw prolonged, severe pain leading up to death. So did he cope? He put a bullet through his brain. When I taught high school math, one of my students, one of the nicest and best-liked students at the school, put a bullet through his brain. I don't think anybody knows why he did it. Nowadays, gay kids who are bullied and tormented by their peers, including many Christian peers, can't deal with the anguish and commit suicide. I am a cancer survivor. When I go to MD Anderson Cancer Center for my checkups, I see myself surrounded by hundreds of people whose lives have been deeply affected by cancer. I find no evidence that any god or gods gave them or me cancer cells. It was just natural causes. Those cancer victims are trying to cope with varying degrees of success or failure. On the internet from time to time I see pictures of starving children, of victims of tsunamis, tornadoes, and diseases. How are they coping? Is some God giving them grace? I find no evidence of it. I now have a far better understanding of the vast breadth and depth of human existence than I had at age 22 in my condition of religious fervor. This is about coping. I don't see that any God or gods are helping anybody to cope. We have to help each other. Today I am giving $100 to a food kitchen in poverty-stricken rural Alabama. That statement, God never gives us more suffering than we can handle, is sometimes made by a person who bases his life on this primitive book that contains so much violence, ignorance, superstition, and bigotry, the, quote, Holy Bible, unquote. I am now an atheist. 
I do not base my life on that book, on the Koran, on the Book of Mormon, or on any such book. I base my life on reason and evidence. I find no credible evidence that any God even exists. Concerning the statement, God never gives us more suffering than we can handle, I hereby express my deep shame and regret for having said that to my mother those many years ago, and for having preached that idea when I was a Catholic priest. In the strongest way, I hereby renounce that statement. I disassociate myself from it. I brand it as nonsense. And to close this video, I use a word that I very rarely use. That statement, God never gives us more suffering than we can handle, is bullshit. To all of you, thank you for watching this video.